everyone, my name is Brittany Clark, and thank you for tuning in for my special report brought to you by Crises. Today, we are with two gentlemen that are aiming to create a film that's going to help bring more awareness to domestic violence in the community. Today, I'm sitting down with Kevin Parkinson, and then we have Wes here as well, who is teaming up together so that they can create this really interesting movie. You guys, how are you guys doing today? I'm really great. Good. I'm great. I'm great. Glad to be here. Thank you, Thank for, having you for having us. us. Thank you, Brent. This is a nice setup. Also, <laughs> yeah. by the way, we've been doing a lot of promo for the right, movie, right. and man, this is just right, right. this is a nice setup. So, thank you for having us, man. Thank, thank you guys for always. joining us yeah, today. No problem. No problem. Yeah. Okay, you. let's go ahead and just kind of jump right in there. Tell us a little bit about this project, this film that you guys got going on. Man, so Wes and I produced a movie called okay. Noxious. Right. Noxious is by all means a romantic thriller about a woman who finds out her <coughs> boyfriend has been unfaithful. And the movie shows us one crazy night with all the lovers involved at their house. And it just gets crazy and crazy and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and talk to me a little bit about each of you all's role. Kevin, what's your position? Wes, what do you play in this? Yeah, so I'm the director. I went to school for broadcast journalism at Shaw University and then the Savannah College of Art and Design where I majored in film and television production. Okay. Yeah. Wes, and like, what, what is your, your role in all this? Um, like he always says, I was like his battery to his back. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I mean, really, what happened was we, we were discussing this one, one night. I came up with this idea. I said, man, you know, I was watching this movie. I said, we need to shoot a movie and tap in and just kind of, you know, figure out another route to feed our families, do some positive, you know, and just really, you know, just go be up and beyond what people really think we can really do. Mm -hmm. And I called him. I said, man, look, man, let's shoot a movie. I got an idea. Let's come together. Let's have some auditions. Let's do what we need to do. He called up his guy, which is Mosley. Mosley sent us over a script, I think maybe a week later. Yeah. Uh, we started rating the script, going over it, kind of studying it real good. Then we had our auditions right here. Uh, and then once we did the auditions, it was a wrap and we shot shot the movie in March and we finished it in four days, 16 hour shifts. Let's kind of talk about the idea or the message that you guys are trying to get behind this film. Yeah. You know, that's a great question, Brady. I'm yeah. glad you asked. This movie touches on a plethora of different subjects. Okay. One of the main subjects that the movie touches on visually mm -hmm. is domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Ironically, you're going to see characters involved in this domestic dispute. Mm -hmm. But the woman is at the hand of the physical altercations. Mm. So that, I think, is very interesting because that's something you really don't see a yes. lot. My next question, you know, in Hollywood right now, in film and entertainment, domestic violence is so pivotal. It's so important, and it's coming to light more now mm -hmm. than it was before. Right. Um, why now? With mm -hmm. the success of movies like Wonder Woman mm -hmm. and with things like the Me Too movement happening mm -hmm. right, right now, which exactly. is coming out of Hollywood, it made a lot of sense to have right. a ethnic cast okay. with a female lead. I guess one of my last questions for you guys. So for the people that are going to be coming out to watch the film, okay. what do you want them to walk away with? So I, I would just say, and I want people to look at it and say, man, these these, these, these dudes really put something together that was nice. Yeah. It looks good. It's a great piece. Mm -hmm. The soundtrack is good. The, mo the music is good. I mean, just look at it like, hey, man, you got to give them credit for even jumping out there trying. Yeah. Like I told Kev, I said, Kev, this might not be the movie that will really take us to the next level, but it'll get our names out there and yeah. it'll keep us working it'll keep us grinding because who knows we're going to do another one and another one our yep. plan is to shoot two movies a year mm -hmm. so if, awesome even win. if this doesn't do what it's supposed to do it's just the fact that we can sit here with you mm -hmm. that we I feel like we've made it just to be able to do that so we're running out of time any last words before we wrap up for today uh, just always remember man you might not be the smartest one in your crew but if you're all putting your brains together you can be successful yeah we are giving away yeah. a lot of tickets anybody Definitely. who's watching your show right now okay. if they go to Noxious the movie.com that's n-o-x-i-o-u-s the movie.com this mm -hmm. is exclusive for you Bree. Okay. Right. anybody who right. goes to the website and signs you up you invited will Bree. receive <laughs> two complimentary tickets to the screening Fantastic. for here in phoenix yeah. wow. and we're going to be having that sometime in june okay and, gra and grab that soundtrack too on Apple yes. Music right now. Noxious <laughs> movie soundtrack. Yeah. Don't get that. Yeah, just Google Noxious movie the soundtrack, and on all the streaming platforms available, and it'll come right on up. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for being on the show today. Thank okay. you guys for tuning in. My name is Brittany Clark. Back to you guys in the studio. This is my special report.